Hey there guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMindBlocks. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the Ethereum name service. So it's ENS Domains, and what it is, is a domain system that is built upon the Ethereum network. What it allows you to do is instead of having a long and confusing and cumbersome uh, address for your Ethereum, well, it, what you can use instead is a short Ethereum uh, domain name. So for example, instead of having an address, let's probably easier if I scroll down the page, you can kind of uh, understand it a little bit better. So instead of having a long uh, series of characters, which looks a little bit something like this, and typically it's about 30 characters, I'm not sure of the exact character length. Instead of having something like that, what you can do is you can shorten it down. So then it's whatever name you like, dot ETH, uh, providing it's available. So that's what this video is all about. What I'm gonna show you how to do is create your own Ethereum uh, domain name and how you can link it to your uh, wallet address. Uh, just a heads up, um, some of these can be very cheap and some of these uh, domains can be very expensive. So the cheapest ones you can get are basically free or thereabouts, and the most expensive ones are uh, to register, they're sort of $640, um, but it's only for very short words. I'll talk about more on pricing um, as we go through the video. So anyway, uh, let's continue on. One of the cool things that I really like about the Ethereum, the main service, is that it has been going for two years, but there's still really good names to be um, captured. So it's not like if you go to register a .com and like 99% of the domains are never available. The one that you want with your name or your company is never available. With the Ethereum name service, it's really useful, but also you'll find that a lot of the names that you might uh, desire um, are still available. So that's quite cool. So if you've got a, a unique uh, first name or surname, you want to use that or a, a catchy company name, you can register it on the Ethereum uh, network. So let's scroll down. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the registration process. So there's a couple of different things. There is, you can name your wallet instantly. So this option here is kind of like the free cheap version. Uh, and by the way, I'm using my uh, MetaMask wallet. So make sure that your uh, that's plugged in and uh, sorry, turned on, should I say, or you're logged in, should I say. Uh, make sure you're using the MetaMask wallet. You can use other wallets, but it's a lot more complicated. Using the MetaMask wallet built into your browser makes the process much more um, simpler. So you've gone to the um, kind of like the instant domain name registration. Um, I won't show the full process, but I'll just go through it very quickly. So let's just say I want to use iMine uh, blocks and we hit enter. So these are all kind of like your free part names. Uh, so you can see that some of them further down have like a registration cost. And then, so what people are doing is basically if someone has registered this at P, PEF, uh, someone has registered that as a domain name and what they're allowing you to do is kind of use like a subdomain. Um, I don't really like these. I think it's much better just to have like kind of like a primary uh, domain. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you in the next step. But I just wanted to show you this quickly in case you're on like a super uh, budget, you don't wanna spend any more than $5. You can register it this way and it's basically practically uh, free. So what we'll do is we'll just go back a step and I'll show you kind of like the proper way to uh, register. So if you click on this register a .eth domain, select that, like I say, make sure you're logged in already to MetaMask and then you've got this search box up here. So here you can type in uh, whatever uh, address that you like. Uh, just very quickly on the pricing, five letters and above are $5. Four letter or four characters are $160 or the equivalent amount of ETH. Three letter uh, domains are $640. So uh, quite expensive, those ones, if you want to register. So I'll just show you, let's say, for example, let's just say we wanted to uh, search for the name Alice. So you can see how it looks. So we've got alice.eth. You can see it's gray here. So that basically means it's not available. Someone else has already taken that domain name. But you can see that this is the registrant and it also it has got a uh, resolver. This is a public resolver. So at the moment, there isn't any other addresses that are set for this. The resolver is basically like the domain name system. What it does is it links this domain name to the address of choice. At the moment, there's no address set and uh, that's what I'll be discussing as we continue on. So let's assume that we choose a name that we want. So in this instance, I'm gonna choose um, Snappy, the one that I already know is available. So you can see it's got this green tag on the side here. This is a, if we select that, you can see it's a different sort of menu system. So up here, we've got this rental period. All of the domain names are based on a one year rental. So if you register this domain name, it's gonna be one year and it's gonna cost you just over $5. Uh, you can extend the rental um, period. You can choose longer registrations, um, but you can also kind of re-register at any time that you own the domain. 
Uh, an important point to note is that if you had a four letter uh, domain name, and like I say, it's gonna cost you $160 or the equivalent in EVE for the first year, but it's also gonna cost you that for every year going onwards. So bear in mind that this is not just an upfront cost. If you wanna hold on to this domain for the future, you're gonna to have to renew it um, each and every year. Um, so if you are registering a, uh, a free word name, for example, I don't know if it's still available, it was the other day. Uh, sorry, let's do a new search. Um, seven up. So this is a domain brand name. It could be valuable. Maybe it's worthless, but who knows? But so, so for example, if you've got a seven up domain name, as you can see here, it's one year registration, three point four eight eight Ethereum and six hundred and forty two dollars. So that's for this year, next year, and every year thereafter. So it could be quite an expensive. So. Uh, be mindful if you're going to register any very short domain names, make sure you've got a good plan unless you're uh, rich going forwards because it can be very expensive. So let's go back to our name that we want to register. So it's going to be snappy.eth and we want a one year registration, like I say, just over $5. So now what we want to do is we click on this request to register. Our MetaMask wallet is going to pop up and here we've got a uh, an option so I'm just going to choose like the lowest gas fee uh, I'll do an average one it will save one penny and um, we just click on confirm so the first part is not the registration the first part is basically just kind of like a DNS lookup I check to make sure that no one else is currently in the process of registering it so it will take about a minute to go through and then we'll go through the the actual registration process which is the uh, way you're actually kind of purchasing that registration so at the moment it's just kind of a look up so it should only take one minute to go through okay so the request to register has gone through now we can click on the register button which is going to take us through more of the kind of the purchasing process so you can see here we've got a gas fee of 13 cents i'm just going to reduce that slightly Again, I'll select average. Sometimes it, or the gas price is obviously varies depending on the Ethereum network, uh, but you can normally set a, a lower uh, gas price and it will complete, it'll just take a little bit longer. So I've got a 10 cent gas fee. We can see the registration fee is there as well. And again, we click on confirm. Okay, so that has gone through. So the next step is optional, um, but if you want to register your domain name to your uh, address, that is like a redirection, then you need to take these next steps. Otherwise, if you just want to kind of hold the name for the future and not really do anything with it, um, you can sort of um, stop at this point. So next up, we click on manage a name. So you can see here that the parent is Eve, so basically it come from, uh, it was born effectively or created. You can see here that this is our address and our control address. Down the bottom here we've got this resolver so we want to set that. This is the part that is uh, what the resolver does is it directs between your um, domain name and um, the attributes that you set to it. So we want to use a public resolver which is that so it should be the same for you guys as well. I click on save. Again you have to it is a transaction but it's only a, a, a cheap transaction and I'll just set it a lower gas fee again and we click on confirm. So this part here, the resolver is, like I say, it's the part that kind of connects your address to whatever attributes you set to it. So at the moment you can set it to your Ethereum address so your domain will redirect to your Ethereum address. Uh, but in the future you can also uh, direct your Ethereum address to like a um, like an internet-based domain name. Um, I think at the, at the moment it's possible to also uh, register and connect with XYZ uh, domain names, but I've not looked into that fully at the moment, so I won't cover that in this video. Um, but um, if you do want to do that, this you will do it using this, this same process. So we'll just wait for that transaction to go through, uh, which will set the public resolver, and then we can add in our Ethereum address, which is where we want the domain name to connect to. Okay, so the resolver has now been applied, so we're using this public uh, resolver. So you can see that we've got this uh, records box at the bottom here, and if we click on this plus tab on the right hand side, we can select a record. So we want to select address, and then here we can enter uh, our Ethereum address. So you don't have to enter your own Ethereum address, so you can enter um, someone else's. So for example, if you want to create like a donation um, uh, domain or something like that, you can use that and then uh, connect it to any address that you like. Uh, in this one, I'll just 
we'll redirect it back to ourselves. But like I say, you can use um, another address. It doesn't have to be uh, the controller of the domain. It doesn't have to be your same uh, address. It can be another one. So we'll just click on save. Again, it's another small transaction. Um, just be mindful, like I say, of your gas fees as you go through. Just make sure they're low. Uh, really, it should just be pennies. And we'll wait for that transaction to process. Okay, so now you can see that the address has now been sent. So that's the address that this is going to resolve to. So what I'll show you now is a uh, quick transaction using this and then um, I'll show you a little bit about the, uh, um, the Ethereum names on OpenSea, which is how you can buy, sell, trade, or find uh, more harder domain names if you're interested in that. If not, <laughs> then that's okay as well. Okay, so I'll put the MetaMask one out, and what I'm gonna do is, oh, I'm just gonna switch to another account. So I'm gonna switch to account number one. Um, the page is going to refresh, but uh, don't worry about that. Does, that doesn't matter. Um, I don't have any domains on this account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a small transaction, but I'm going to send it using this domain. I'm not going to send it using a traditional Ethereum wallet address. So if you click on send, and then we're going to send it to snappy.eth. So the cool thing about this is that it's much easier to verify names rather than, you know, if I give someone 0xc9f03, it's really difficult to, to verify or, like, you know, uh, the only way to do it accurately is by a copy and pasting it, but you can never do that in like a, a manual kind of transaction or, or an exchange. So having this short uh, domain name system is a much better way to do it here. So you can see here, I've, I've typed it in using the MetaMask on it, snappy.eth. It shows me snappy.eth and it also shows me the, the start and the end of the address. So I can use that as like a double verification. So that's really cool. So if I click on this and then we want to send, uh, I'll just send a tiny amount, 0.0001 Ethereum and we'll just do average transaction and we click on next. So again, snappy.eth, this address, we click on next and confirm. Okay, so that transaction has gone through onto the Ethereum network. So if I change back to my uh, ENS wallet, yep, so you can see it here. So here's the incoming transaction there. So that's the one that we just received. I don't know why it's not actually showing a MetaMask there. Maybe it will show up in a moment. It's there, it's, it's being received, so I'm not too sure why it's not showing up, but yeah, you can see the transaction has gone through. So that's how you send using uh, the domain name uh, service. So you guys can stop here if you wish to. Um, the other guys that want to continue watching, uh, I'm gonna show you using the OpenSea uh, service. So what this is, is basically like a trading platform for um, digital assets, digital tokens, and things like that. So it can be collectible trading cards, but it can also be um, Ethereum uh, domain names as well. So you can see here I'm on the main face and then you can select, uh, you go to browse and then you can choose the different um, networks that you want to take a look at. So I'm using the Ethereum name service there. And then I've got it set to most views. So you can see here, these are all the kind of the popular domains that have been sold on the OpenSea platform in the past. So you can see some of them got open.eth went for 3.69 uh, wrapped ethereum google went for 52 ethereum amazon 100 ethereum apple 51 ethereum so you can see some of them quite uh, really big money a lot of big brand names things like that so if you're looking for something specific um, you can use this site to find something you can also use it to sell your ethereum domains if you find like a really cool catchy domain and, and you want to sell it in the future you can also use this platform um, to do that uh, again it's it's really quite a simple process i'll just briefly thought of um, skim for it. So what you do is you click on account, make sure you're logged in using MetaMask, and then you go to my items. It probably takes about, I don't know, 30 minutes to 60 minutes for um, your assets to start showing up in here. Uh, but then you'll, you'll see them, and then from that point you can then um, continue the, the process of selling them. At the moment there's kind of some issue with uh, the OpenSea platform because I've got a lot more domains and only these two are showing. But anyway, you would select one of your domains, 
you can see here a little bit of information about it and then you can click on sell and you can either put it up for a fixed price or you can gift it or you can do an auction you can do lots of different things in lots of different ways so using OpenSea is a really cool way to sort of um, sell your domains that you think have some value and you don't want anymore or to find um, domains that are really um, uh, harder to find or, or if you're looking for something specific for like a company name or you know gambling site things like that so using OpenSea is really cool really useful okay everyone so that's about it for this video hopefully you have enjoyed it and learned how to use the ethereum name service with uh, the ethereum network uh, any questions or comments put those down below and i'll be sure to help you guys out and uh, as always thanks very much for watching i appreciate your support like comments and subscribes and i'll see you guys on the next video take care bye bye